Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the Game Illustrated AI Podcast. I'm your host, Mr. AI, and today we're taking a deep dive into a company that's that's blending cutting-edge artificial intelligence with the future of transportation, Waymo. And here's the kicker. Waymo is part of Google's parent company, Alphabet, so you know they've got some serious brain power and big bucks behind them. Whether you're just hearing about Waymo for the first time, like if you don't live in San Francisco, or you are already fascinated by self-driving cars, I promise you, you'll leave this episode with a greater appreciation for what's happening on the AI-powered roads of tomorrow. So strap in and let's roll. First things first, what is Waymo? Waymo is a self-driving technology company aiming to revolutionize transportation with fully autonomous vehicles. They are amazing. They're turning science fiction into reality. But this isn't just a side hustle. It's a key part of Google's parent company, Alphabet. Why does this matter? Alphabet, the umbrella company that also owns Google, has the resources, infrastructure, and vision to push projects like Waymo forward. With Alphabet's backing, Waymo has access to not just billions of dollars, but also some of the best AI minds in the world. There's a lot of AI in Google. And speaking of dollars, Waymo recently closed a massive $5.6 billion funding round in October. This brings Waymo's total funding to over $11 billion. That money is being used to expand its robo-taxi services and refine its AI systems with Alphabet, betting big on a future where George Jetson, I mean AI, drives us all. Now let's dig into the tech side. Waymo wouldn't be possible without artificial intelligence, and regular intelligence, by the way, and Alphabet is no stranger to AI innovation. Google, one of Alphabet's flagship companies, has been a pioneer in machine learning and deep learning for years, developing everything from search engine algorithms to Google Translate and your Gmail account. Don't forget Gmail. Waymo takes that expertise and applies it to autonomous driving. Here's how. Machine learning for driving decisions. Oh, that's my, that's my bedtime reminder telling me to go to sleep. Sorry, you're out of luck. But that wasn't a Google thing. Anyway, back here at the ranch, Waymo's AI analyzes massive amounts of data Think traffic patterns, pedestrian behavior, and even weather conditions. It uses machine learning to predict what will happen next and respond accordingly. Think deep learning for vision. Alphabet's advancements in computer vision play a huge role here. Waymo's deep learning models process visual data from cameras to recognize objects like cars, bikes, and pedestrians, making real-time driving decisions. Now we're on to cloud computing power. Thanks to Google Cloud, Waymo has the infrastructure to process terabytes of driving data, train its AI models, and simulate millions of miles of virtual driving before testing on the road. In other words, Alphabet's ecosystem gives Waymo a huge unique advantage, combining hardware, AI expertise, and the cloud to push self-driving tech to new heights. Think flywheel, not the flywheel taxis, think of the real flywheels here. Waymo's self-driving cars are more than just vehicles. They're high-tech marvels. Each robo-taxi, like the electric, like the electric, electric, electric Jaguar I-Pace, is packed with state-of-the-art equipment. Let's take a closer look. The car, the base vehicle itself, costs around fifty thousand dollars. Not cheap, but a sturdy, stylish electric Jaguar I-Pace is a great place to start. Not sure what their borrowing rates are if they needed to lease those cars. I get, you know, Google probably doesn't have a. Uh, high borrowing cost. LiDAR sensors. These laser-based sensors map the car's surroundings in 3D. Waymo's fifth-gen cars use four LiDAR units, costing $7,000 to $8,000. You'll see them on the corners of the uh, car. Cameras and radar. The cameras capture visuals, and radar detects objects in their speed, even in bad weather. Combined, these systems cost around another five to $6,000. Speaking of weather, they're not going into areas where there's snow and things like that. No, right now they're just doing sort of mostly warm weather locations. That brings us to the AI systems. The brain of the car, AI's, AI, Waymo's AI software, is what sets it apart. It integrates data from all these sensors to make driving decisions, all thanks to the machine learning models we talked about earlier. Put it together, and each Waymo vehicle costs around $125,000. Compare that to a Tesla, which costs around $25,000 to $30,000. I think it can go more. But you can see why Waymo's approach is so ambitious. While Tesla's cars still rely on some human oversight, Waymo is aiming for true autonomy. Let's circle back to Alphabet. Why is it such a big deal that Alphabet is Waymo's parent company? Two reasons. Financial muscle. 
The autonomous vehicles are expensive to develop. Waymo is $11 billion in total funding, much of it from Alphabet, gives the company the freedom to experiment, test, and innovate without worrying about running out of cash. Also, there's the AI expertise. Alphabet's other projects like Google Search Engine, Google Maps, and DeepMind feed directly into Waymo's technology. For example, Google Maps provides critical data for navigation, and DeepMind's AI research enhances Waymo's ability to make smarter decisions. This relationship allows Waymo to focus on long-term innovation rather than short-term profits. Alphabet sees this as an investment in the future of transportation, and possibly a massive market if robo-taxis become mainstream. So what's next for Waymo? The company is scaling its robo-taxi services in cities like Phoenix and San Francisco. I think Los Angeles is now on the map, but it's not all smooth sailing. There are challenges. The cost each car costs, like I mentioned earlier, around $125,000. They might be able to bring that down, and probably, like I was mentioning earlier, the financing costs probably be The funding from Alphabet helps, but they'll need to bring costs down to compete in the broader market. There's also a serious amount of regulation. The self-driving cars are a hot topic for regulators. I don't think that there's a national Regu regulatory framework put in place yet, so they have to go city by city. Waymo needs to navigate its complex web of laws and safety standards before it can be more widely deployed. Plus, there's the issue of public trust. Getting people to trust AI-driven cars is a big hurdle, but once you're in the car, I do think that people really seem to trust it. I think people trust Waymo in San Francisco way more than they trust Uber. So, they're tackling this with rigorous testing and transparency, um, a lot of PR also, and it'll work, but I think it'll take time. Despite these challenges, the potential is enormous. Imagine a world where you can hail a self-driving taxi with your phone, never worry about parking, and enjoy safer, more efficient transportation. We're going to do an episode soon on the effect that this will have on stadiums and sports. That's the dream alphabet and Waymo are working towards. All right, folks, that brings us to the end of today's episode of the Games of the I should, be, I should know the name of the Game Illustrated, of the Game Illustrated's AI podcast. We've explored Waymo's cutting-edge self-driving cars, how Alphabet's AI expertise powers them, and what the future might hold. With Alphabet's $5.6 billion investment in October 2024, it's clear they believe Waymo wasn't just a game changer, it's a game leader. And with AI and machine learning driving the innovation, we're witnessing the beginning of something truly revolutionary. Think about the Jetsons on steroids.